Hello and welcome to another PA Matches cast. I'm Brian Perkis and we've got another community submitted match. This time, Elodea versus Max. Elodea is currently the king of the planet and is the top player amongst the Planetary Annihilation community. And Max is a very uh, active member of the Realm uh, uh, clan. And is uh, what well, he's <laughs> he's widely known for his cheese strats. He normally takes a, a, a certain strategy, common one being the bomber snipe. He's used that one a lot, and and goes for it. And he can execute those uh, cheese strategies pretty darn well. So he he's definitely a threat. He's he's done well in in previous tournaments. In fact, there was the that three v three tournament where his team almost won and he got most of the the enemy kills. So definitely a threat. It's going to be interesting to see whether Max's cheese strategies win out against the current king of the planet. Okay, so uh, Elade is going for vehicles first. He's been doing that a lot lately. While Max is going for the uh, current popular build that is um, bots. Why? Uh, so it's gonna. Well, let's find out which works out. Both players are right now going for the single fabricator uh, build order. It's uh, it's a semi. It's a somewhat popular build strategy. The theory is. Uh, by having fabricators going out and claiming economy, they are consuming y your metal and your energy. And the theory is you're better off or, uh, putting them, putting that economy from those fabricators into factories and uh, building more units. It is a high-risk, high-reward, major aggression strategy. If you can uh, suppress your opponent with your with your uh, very aggressive build, then it'll pay out very well. But if you don't manage to to pull out a win, then your economy can easily be trailing behind, and it doesn't work out well for you. So, like I said, high risk, high reward. <clears throat> and then we've got the vehicles versus bots that's going on right now one uh, one ripper costs as much as three docks however a bot factory produces two docks in the time it takes to build one vehicle factory so the the the, the docks has its the incredible benefits of anti-air capabilities it's amphibious it's got a, a very large range of 150 a uh, bit of a rating, yep, hit and run. Those bots cannot take on those tanks, so they take out one metal extractor, call that a win, and move on. So, the uh, the docks, it's it's fast, very fast. The tank has a, a speed of like 10, I think, while the, the bot has a, has a speed of 20. That is huge. Those bots can run circles quite literally around vehicles. So they are very, very useful for hit and run in raiding tactics. But in direct confrontation, the docks simply cannot win out against the Ripper. Or whatever they're going to be calling it in the next build. Uh, so, let's see, the L um, Max. Max is going for that, that fast aggression, hard aggression, while Elodea is going with a similar strategy he's just relying on those vehicles which he has been using to great effect lately still only using uh, one fabrication vehicle very nice Elodea was expanding this way but as soon as he figured out that Max was off in this direction he took his fabricator and started expanding expanding in the other direction very very important move here we go Max has got his units moving out but Elodea does have that radar so he does see uh, Max's incoming unit. So he's got this fabricator building up some walls. Down goes the fabricator, but those vehicles uh, moving to respond in direct confrontation. These docks will not win out against these vehicles. So Max's only hope is to outflank Elodea. At this point, it might be worth it for for Max to start changing up his strategy and building out vehicles. You've got to adapt. You can't, if something's not working, which 
this is not really working out too well for him as as uh, Elliday's uh, vehicles are moving in to respond and uh, Max does have radar coverage but not not a whole lot so Max has got to avoid Elodea's army and he's got to win the war of attrition he's got to use these bots speed to their advantage and whittle away at Elodea's economy Max is does have a growing economy as well as one more one more factory that that loan factory is not going to be enough he's got to have a bunch more factories than than Elodea if he's going to pull off a win since we've got this bots versus vehicle confrontation Max's units are circling around they're split up there we go here we go we got a bit of a clash bots are moving in what do they see the bots do see the enemy commander so they do know that that, that Elodea's commander is on the front line and vulnerable oh Max is recalling his army it looks like he's gonna try and go for the snipe go for the throat very good move since uh, Max cannot win in a straight-up brawl he's got to go for the cheap shot no well it's not even a cheap shot he's got to go for the winning shot it's by no means cheap and bit of a clash over here. Those uh, bots, ooh, the docks are actually getting in some pretty nice wins. There comes Elodea's commander. Took out a few of them, yep. Uh, Max does not have enough units yet to take out that commander, so he's got to clump up everything he has, which he is. Does Elodea see those forces? Eh, he kind of sees them. He sees that a bunch of units are coming in, and then, whoa, here we go. Here comes everything Max has towards Elodea going in for that snipe this number th this many docks could do it a that commander's got to hide behind the walls in order to pull off the win and is he gonna be able to oh no the bots have stopped moving and they're firing at the walls no no Max move move you can do it move oh and it looks like Elodea is going to ah oh, yep Max, you could have pulled off the win. And in the meantime, we can see on the horizon, Elodea's got the counterattack moving forward. These vehicles are going to be able to just steamroll through all of these vehicle or these bot factories. And, uh, man, that was it. Max had Elodea dead to rights. Elodea? Elodea? Somebody correct me in the comments. Elodea. Oh, Max, you had it. You gotta give move commands. Okay, so, when you are attacking a defensive line, when you're attacking something that is behind walls, you cannot give an attack command for the exact reason that we just saw right here. The units, once they get in the range of that defensive structure, the commander, whatever it is, they will stop and fire. It doesn't matter, matter if walls are in the way, they will shoot. That's why... If the enemy, if the unit or structure is right here, you got to give a move command to right here. You got to give a move command to right behind the uh, enemy walls. Otherwise, that exactly that is going to happen. Man, Max, you had a shot to take out the king of the planet. That is such a bummer. Let's take a look at what Elodea sees. Elodea does see that there's this lone dot slowly moving away. He's got more pressing matters, this large army moving in. He has got to protect this commander because uh, his life depends, well, his, the game depends upon it. He's doing a ni very nice job. He's got his commander surrounded by all of these vehicles as well as quite a few vehicle factories. It's quite a strong meat shield. And uh, it probably would be a good idea to get some uh, fabricators or combat fabrics healing that commander. So all of these, uh, this vehicle army is moving on out trying to chase down that commander. While uh, the rest of his uh, army is moving to try and intercept all of these bots. Max does not have a whole lot of vision right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, he's got no radar coverage. Well, he's doing some nice raiding. This rating would would uh, be a very huge blow to Elodea under normal circumstances, but since Max is down and out, he's got nothing left. This rating means nothing. He's got to find that commander. Let's uh, 
Let's see what Max sees. He's moving in the right direction. He knows where the enemy commander was. So he's just got to move in that direction and hope, he, and hope he stumbles upon the enemy commander. Running into lots of vehicles, he's got to... He, he can't afford any losses right now. He's got to find that commander. There's a large army. Nope, got to move away, move away. Run, 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 run. Go. They're moving in the right direction. Come on, Max. You can do it. There we go. He sees the enemy commander, and now he's moving in for the kill. Is he going to be able to get there in time? He's facing heavy losses, and the commander is quickly building walls to try and survive. And, yep. He's not going to pull off a win. That is it. Max almost had it. Almost had the win, but didn't quite pull it off. Man, that was a nail-biter. Now, Elodea, all he's got to do is find the enemy commander and uh, finish him off. So, let's uh, speed things up. Just, uh, oh, come uh, Max, there you go. Charge. I like your style. There we go. Max is uh, moving on in, going down fighting, and kaboom. Down he goes. Well played, Max. You almost had it. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments. Um, and uh, don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. If you have a match that you really enjoyed and you think other people would enjoy watching, let me know. I would love to cast it. Head on over to pamatches.com slash submit. And I'll see you next time.